Okay, good evening, everybody. Very senior colleagues, colleagues, and invited guests on the call. We are welcome to today's session, which is the fourth session in this series. And I'm privileged to be the last guest speaker, you know, and today, hopefully, we'll be wrapping up on all that has been taken over the last four weeks, especially on this call. You know, we are talking about telecom innovations for public health practice. And this is a six month pilot of the video system for public health physicians. So today, we are basically going to take presentations from other health science team and also from, uh, yeah, precisely Dr. Kenny and also Joshua, after which we'll take questions and answer series. So if you have any questions or you need clarification, you note it down so that at the end of the day, you'll be able to ask and then you'll be giving clarification. And then finally, we are going to have a demo and then the way forward. So Kenny, I think I'll hand over to you so that you can give your opening remark. But I think the national president is around. Maybe you may need to introduce one or two dignitaries before we proceed with the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Chingli. The national president should be around. I'm trying to look at uh, the details here. Uh, okay, but he will join us at some point. I try calling him, uh, but it appears uh, he's busy at this moment. So I want to I want to start by thanking everyone for joining. There's no need to talk about. Uh, introduction of anybody here. Uh, apparently, we know ourselves. Uh, but before I move on, I want to especially thank uh, Dr. Leda Maduke, who is joining us from Canada. She, in, at the early space of the development of Vigit, uh, we really had issues of creativity, looking at uh, what the whole system would look like and then what we even call it. So she was the one that uh, I went, had one hour intensive brainstorming with her. And then she had a brainwave and said, it is visualized and get results. It is visualized and get it. So if we are going to visualize and get the type of result we want, we should call it Vigit. So that is what the name Vigit is coming from. So it's visualized and get it. Now she is, she, her idea around it was, okay, you are going to have a digital system using Android phones. You have developed an app that gives you a visual perspective of what you will get by the dashboard from the feed when you have limitation of access to that feed physically. You can't do supportive supervision because of security risk or the place hard to risk, but they have internet, they have maps, that can give information. So with that tool, the digital tool you are visualizing. And of course, with the dashboard, you are getting the result. The other component of the system is simply to make sure that the system is robust enough and self-sustaining so that it does not depend on grant elsewhere to run when the funds are no longer available. So my thank you very much. Uh, at some point, uh, you may want to say one or two words, but I want to appreciate your contribution to this concept. Uh, we started this uh, conversations uh, several months ago, and then we encouraged our presenters at the conference in Loring, and this is the product of what we are seeing. So I want to thank you very much for the support. So the presentation today essentially is the same in telecom innovations of public health practice, six months pilot project of the VG system, it's called Project 2480. Uh, Joshua is with me here. He's, uh, available on the call to also take a portion of the telecom industry where he has worked for several years and is a guru. In fact, he's the one that anchored the system that we're doing. Without him, what we are built would be difficult to, to function. So, but he has given us a uh, good way to see how we also have a total understanding of the telecom system and how it will apply to what we do. So I'm the project manager and preparing the stuff this project. Now, you, you know, you agree with me that the telecom industry is booming. 
I do mean because in the last two years we have experienced uh, global issues around COVID, and COVID really distorted the logistics system of the world. People sat there in one place for years, and of course, physical conferences were banned. So we were looking at options that can make conferences still go on and to engage, and that brought in all manner of uh, tele tele system that can help us communicate from Zoom to Team to all manner of platforms. Now, by so doing, what has happened? Funds have been moving through this system, either by way of using of uh, data, usage of data, or by way of communication. And that is what is making the, the industry grow. Unfortunately, it's not the same thing with our own health sector because most of our system don't generate income. Uh, for the income that comes in, uh, it comes for expenditure. So this table shows that growth. Uh, there is now about 12.6% uh, increase in the last few years from 2019 to 2020. That growth has been huge. Unfortunately, other industries are experiencing decline. Now, this, this also shows uh, the revenue uh, target, I mean, revenue achieved by, by MTN, one of the companies within the telecom industry. Of course, uh, ATA has experienced the same so every every industry that is linked to telecom has been experienced some growth of some sort. Now, why is that important to us? Because this cash flow, besides that as cash flow is going within the system, the system runs automatically. Unfortunately for us, as public health doctors, uh, money that comes from us actually go out and don't come back. So today you hear banks charges, uh, time they even charge you in the night. You woke up in the night, in the middle of the night, and we are seeing a lot of people and we are like, what is happening? They are doing their charges. Insurance is there, takes away money from us. Zoom takes away money. By the time we are done with this Zoom meeting, we would have consumed data from all of us and that money would not come back. So we have to go look for another source of income. We also have Zoom or have WhatsApp or have other, any other form of telecommunication activities. The social media take away our time and uh, and money. The communication out here is quite easy to send out uh, communication for us to be here. But the challenge is that each of those posts that goes to any platform takes away data, and that is money. Uh, telecom itself takes away money and time. So we know that life is actually becoming uh, a, the new normal is such that we cannot do away with Zoom, we cannot do away with Google Meets, uh, Microsoft Teams, and all other platforms. Now there's WhatsApp call, there's WhatsApp team, and other platforms that we're using. All these are taking money away from us. Now, where do they take this money to? They take it to the telecom industry, and it never comes back. So what we're doing, uh, thinking about in the last few uh, months, extensively, the, is that, okay, fine, this money is flowing within this. How can we address the mechanism that will benefit uh, public health systems? So that has been the biggest question that kept agitating our minds. That when we are talking about innovative financing, what can be innovated within the financing mechanism? How can this telecom digital cash flow circulate among public health practitioners to enhance quality of work? And this has been what we've been looking at with our team. So for this reason, uh, Ave Health uh, Limited in partnership with Vitiv Platform has come up with a system that will circulate value and still a source of income while taking care of your expenses, whether personal expenses or otherwise. Now, it's important to note that every other person is looking at the chunk money that is within the telecom industry and looking at how it can benefit the system. Recently, the National Health Insurance Act uh, was approved or consented by the federal government, by the, by the president of the country. And it was stated that at least one kobo, one kobo per second of form should be taxed. Now, what does one call per second of call means? It means that if you are making 30 minutes of call per day, you are giving out 18 kobo. So 18 kobo of that will be taxed. And 18 kobo of that times the number of 30 minutes call made in a day. You can imagine the money that goes into funding of a health system, of a, I mean the insurance system, by specifically for vulnerable population. Now that is important. Because as long as the system is booming, that tax will go. But the challenge we have with this is that once the tax enters into a particular account, 
is the process of the value chain of that money getting to where it's to be used that we cannot guarantee. So these are things that, we, that have happened that people have thought to and we also think. So what is this VG system? I just explained uh, before that VG system means visualize and get results, visualize and get it. And there are three components to the VG system. The first component is digital design digital tool for real-time data capturing of key performance indicators and uh, feed-based monitoring. All of us have used personnel before. All of us in the past have printed personnel and used for research. But now with technology, we can design tools using different platforms. And they, of course, post these 200 phones and people can actually get data for us anywhere in the world. And they will, of course, create dashboard for this. For places where we cannot even go, the individuals in the field, they can actually engage them as feed-based monitors. What they simply do is that they live in those locations, so you give them an Android phone with your app on it, they don't need to understand all the language in it, but you educate them either pictorially or otherwise. And say, so, well, fine, if it's what you see here, click this. When you finish, send it to us. The information comes and gives you a lot of uh, information that you can take decision as a manager. By having created this system with Android phone, who found the system? Who pays money for this on the long term? That is where the second component of VG systems applies. The virtual top of automated tele trading system that offers 1% weekly commission to first return, which means that the system offers funds and the funds that finance the digital system. Now, if you now want to now move ahead a step further, you have what we call the advanced new bank basic, which gives the background for the backbone for the mini audio telehealth. What it means with this is that you can create a flow user group of all participants or members. For instance, if you have 100 primary healthcare facilities in location that you cannot reach, all you need to do is that get them to a close user group and then get the Android phones where they are connected with each other. With that system, they can call each other. They can call the center uh, system. So if they are called as supervisors, they can call for monitoring, they can call for explanation. This becomes an, a mini audio telehealth. So these are the components that form what we call VG. Now, uh, Joshua will now give us the telecom backbone that has actually made this possible. So we, we go into the details of what it means at the, at the other end of telecom. Then I will now talk about the project and how that fits in. So Joshua, if you are there, uh, you can take over from here now. Okay, very good evening, everybody. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me right? Yes, we can hear you very well. Good. First is appreciation. I want to give appreciation to appreciate the Public Health uh, Practitioners Association. Um, I feel humbled that I have the opportunity to attend this Zoom from the beginning to the end. Today is actually the end of the series that we are doing, though we may have some other Zoom coming in as need arises. However, my appreciation goes to the president and the rest of the people that anchor this Zoom day after day, Dr. Adamo, Dr. Chingulu. Today is actually the last day. That's why I want to take this time to appreciate them. Now, if you go to, especially those people that are attending from Canada and other parts of the country, of the world rather, if you go to some of these places, you discover that everything is automated. The agri sector is automated. The financial sector is automated. The transportation system is automated. The sports system is automated. The entertainment is automated. And here in Nigeria, the people that automate this or the backbone that is powering all this is the telecom. Day-to-day -day activity. Now we are going to the metaverse. We were talking of the real life existence being um, exhibited or being portrayed now in a virtual form. All these things that are coming up with innovations, they are being anchored here by the telecommunications sector. If you look at this chart, MTN top the, the rest of the sectors in revenue, revenue generation. I, I may not be able to go into the details. You know that the, when we went into a recession, the, the sector that brought us out was the telecom. Day to day, you may not go to the hospital, you may not do your sports, but you not do one thing or the other. But as for the telecom, you must make call every day. I believe that everybody that is a subscriber of any network in Nigeria make calls every day. That is money exchanging hand. 
The VG system is simply saying that this money that is exchanging hand, please take advantage because there is something happening behind this thing that you don't know. So much trillions are going on. Take advantage of that and end your living. Take advantage of that and reduce your day-to-day -day expenses. Take advantage of that and run your office at a zero cost. Take advantage of that and then make sure that in a year or two from now, you will say it was because of the veggie system that you were able to run the digital system, the digital system, or you were able to get involved in the digital space, or you were able to make so much money, or you were able to run your office and uh, be where you are now at a zero cost. And that is what the veggie system is presenting. We are presenting just two things in partnership with Veggie Platform. Veggie Platform is just a company registered, but it has a service called my wallet shop. My wallet shop, it is that platform that is automated to run the telecommunication services for you while you do your day to day business. They are busy running your your telecom service uh, business for you and giving you profit every seven days with a 1%. Now, if you go to the banking sector, the banking sector, they, they are into financial services, but they are also running a telecom service. Once you go to the ATM and you withdraw money, the next thing that comes prompt up is, do you want to recharge or use recharge? In fact, they bring it an instruction in forcing it on you, recharge here. You are the one that said, no, you don't want to recharge. Why are they enforcing this recharge here on every customer that comes to withdraw money? Instead of them to just focus on the financial service, it's because they believe that there is something that is going on here that making so much money, billions from the four major telecoms in Nigeria, the MTN, the Nine Mobile, the Airtel, and the Globe. And that is what my wallet shop is presenting to you. My wallet shop is simply an automated system. They run this day-to-day -day airtime sales on your behalf. And then pay you back 1% every seven days. And they are saying that if you have a day-to-day -day expenses to make in your research, in your hospital, in your house, as an individual, simply have a shop online with my wallet shop. Fund your shop and the system will convert that shop into airtime. And at the end of every seven days, they will give you 1%. Now, we do not say that you must own a shop. As you come to own a shop, you can equally be buying this airtime by yourself. All we want is that join this community, participate in this community, aid commission on this committee, either through owning the shop or through day-to-day -day purchase of this airtime and data and earn money from here that can take care of your day-to-day -day expense. If you calculate your day-to-day your, your day -day expense in a year, you discover it's 500,000 and you have a shop of 1 million. It simply means by the end of the year, the money that you would have expended on that expense is still intact with you in your shop. Why the shop generates income for you to take care of that expense, you eat your cake, and you still have it. And in addition to that, we say, okay, because you make so much calls, we are on the Zoom meeting, you are bonding your data and other things, you can take advantage of the combo uh, basic service. What is the combo basic service? The combo basic service is the service rendered by our one of our major telecom partners, the Nine Mobile. It allows you to make calls within a group of people, maybe your staff, or within the, the people that organization that you're working with at a, at, at, at a free rate. You don't spend anything on this call. Once you recharge 1,000 and the system record that, your phone has to recharge a minimum of 1,000 within 30 days, you make call unlimited for free. Your airtime, the 1,000 Naira is not being charged. Your 1,000 Naira, you can make call to call MTN, to call Glow, to call Airtel. But once within these people, you make call, we make calls free. Why is this important? It's important because your team that you're working with them, you're spending money for their cause, you're spending money for their data. But once you've joined the VG system, as the, 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 the wallet shop is generating income for you, that same income you can use it to also own this combo basic. And this combo basic is also minimizing your cost and you're making calls for free. If you are need and you are calling Dr. Kene, you are calling Dr. Um, Adamu, you are calling uh, the other people, you call them at a, at a free cost. Nobody's charging you anything. And with that, at the end of the day, you will discover that all that you've been using your hard earned money to expend on, this vision system is taking care of. That. And these are the two things that were presented to the public health practitioners who are saying leverage on the telecom sector. There is so much going on here. Leverage on the telecom sector. And this is it's automated, so you don't need to do so much activities here. You simply own your wallet, just like other people that have done it. 
and the system is running for you because it's automated. You also have the combo basic with your team and you are making calls within your team for free. At the end of every 30 days, you just need to recharge 1,000. Where are you getting this money to do some of these expenses? My wallet shop is working for you. And this is integrated with the Flutter Wave to make the automation very simple and easy and it's user friendly. So at the end of the day, you are taking advantage of, of, of the telecom system, you are running your own day-to-day -day business in the health sector. But whatever is running there, even if it's a trillion, you're having a percentage of that credited to you and it's withdrawable in cash to do your day expenses. So I appreciate you. And as we round up this Zoom, I invite all of you, for some of you that have not taken advantage of this, don't wait till maybe the other bigger partners come in and they take advantage of the system and you say, yes, I was intended to be part of this because we are moving very fast and we are saying that please take advantage of this and then run your office or your business at a zero cost. Thank you during the question and answers. If there is anything we need to say more, we can now elaborate on it for your more understanding. Thank you, Dr. Kenem. All right, thank you, Joshua, uh, for that explanation. Uh, you, have, you have taught me a lot in the last 18 months of the intensive study of the telecom industry. So thank you very much uh, for who you are and for what you are doing for us. So I will now run down the project implementation. Uh, now, these are the issues that are with us in public health, whether we like it or not. Uh, we have issues uh, around uh, uh, increased costs, make calls on a daily basis. Some makes more than an hour per day, uh, but the salary has not changed. Uh, allowance and uh, funds for the issues around uh, at this, and uh, we know that we have had these locations. Zoom have come to stay, and uh, but there's no uh, communication allowance. So the, the rationale for the study essentially came from the communique that was issued at the last conference. And the, what we stated was that uh, the Federal State Minister of Health as well as uh, the divisions and related agencies should adopt the digitalization process. Let me, let me try to mute those who, who are doing... Uh, so. So this, this came out of the fact that we said, okay, fine. Uh, we recommended that uh, there should be a digitalization process. Yes, which is good. But the question is that if we are making recommendations, is it possible for us to be creative enough to be part of that process and to be the contribution we are making to this uh, 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 institution that we have made this recommendation? So we now decided, okay, let's put up a proposal and see that we'll run this within six months. And then, of course, that proposal was approved officially. That is why we are running this. Now, what is the proposal assumption? We are assuming that increasing the circulation of telecom funds among public practitioners will improve and enhance the quality of their work. And it's based on this simple equation taking that know how and skills minus financial cost to frustration. All the project we do, all the capacity we have, it is important to understand that we need finance for them to do that. So, we are assuming that if we now start circulating among us, then there'll be excitement. So if we now start having systems that addresses the need of our research work, the cost component, that okay, fine, if we have run this project, we can sustain the effort, then we'll start having excitement around those areas. So what is this project strategy plan? Uh, we're gonna have four weeks uh, of Zoom meetings for training Wednesdays and Sundays, 8 p.m. Uh, today is the last day of those four weeks uh, as the month comes to an end. So we have done successfully. So if I'm going to be measured on that indicator as a key performance indicator, I think I will score 100 or 100. So I've been here for all those calls. I will also uh, look at activating my wallet shop for at least five members per state. The essence is that members will start using this platform. Now, if nobody have used WhatsApp, there's no way they would have been developing of WhatsApp where we are. It's feedback that comes made uh, develop. That's what you see there. Recently, there was upgrade of WhatsApp from uh, 216 members to now 512. This came as a, as, as, as a fact that uh, 
members uh, complain or say, okay, this software should give us this. So we want members to make use. Those who are saying, hey, still, let's just get five members to use. We're not saying that you sign up and you must have a shop. No, sign up and do whatever you want to do on the platform. Buy a time, buy anything that you see on it, and let us know your experience of that user. We're also going to conduct digital tool design training for interested state. So we're here as a team. Having SS have in-house capacity to design ODK, to design uh, Kobo Collect, to design owner, to design every digital tool that is practically possible. And we're saying, use us. We can train your team either by, by virtual training uh, using Zoom, or we can even physically come and have two, three days with your team in the state or as a group in the department, as a group in the institution, anywhere you think that we should do this. And we're saying this because these things have come to stay. The use of paper-based uh, research is a problem. We don't have to understand this. We cannot be designing multicenter studies. We're also going to deploy uh, a mini audio telehead for selected institution and then deploy the digital uh, system, the VG system in selected states. So this is the cycle. Four weeks are having it today. Four weeks uh, in May, we'll, we'll, we'll take that now. My wallet shop activation from members to state, May to July. So after this, we are going to have uh, all these uh, eight weeks of, uh, I mean, yeah, all these eight uh, calls, we are going to have to put them in modules and then put, them, put a link where people can go as recorded stuff and listen to, to share to our members to listen to. We'll do one-on-one -on -one discussion with members who have questions for us. We can have calls for states as a group and have Zoom specialized calls with maybe Cardinal State, uh, Plateau State, any of the state that's interested to having their members engage with us. So we we'll get them to sign up from May to, to July. And once a state meets that target of five, they now uh, will now move to another state. So we have also talking about digital tool design. So we have May to October. This is going to be throughout the six months at any point to call us. We're just a chat away, we're just a call away. Diploma of mini audio telehead rolls up from May to October. Diploma of VG system is on a continuous basis. As states show interest, we will do that. Now we are going to do evaluation in November. So the eight, the, the six months will finish in October. And by uh, November, we'll do evaluation, simple evaluation. We'll design a procedure, send it out to our members and say, let them feed this information uh, based on their experience. And then, of course, we'll write a report in December and uh, present these uh, findings uh, of this particular experience in, uh, at a conference in River State in January 2023. So, uh, Joshua, I've talked about the application of uh, my wireless uh, uh, VG system in, in, in project management. Now we know that this is what happens. Most of our project requires power supply bills, communication, where office maintenance, Zoom meetings and stuff. Now all this money we spend on this project, whether we like it or not, at the end of three months, this money is gone. So if we're spending money 50,000 per month, by three months that is 600,000. Whether you like it or not, that 600,000 is not coming back to you again. It's never coming back because it's a running cost. Now, what we are saying is that calculate all your expenditures. Sign up in my wallet shop. Pick up a shop that is capable of trading and giving you the value that you want on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. And then it now solve the problem. It's from those commissions that we carry to buy airtime, to, to do Zoom calls, to pay for Zoom, to uh, do any other thing that has to do with your project. So, when we say that at the end of three months, you found that we, we put there that are being used for trading that became airtime, will still be intact for you there. So you can either roll over or remove it. So if I put, for instance, one million, by three months, the one million remains there. Meanwhile, you have made 1% 1 of one million, which is 520,000. In a year, solving all those problems, you can remove that money and do something there with it after three months. Or you can simply roll over and let continue that experience. So we are saying that it is possible to, to do zero overhead costs on my wallet. Well, this is practically possible. When sustainability is viewed as being a matter of survival for the business, I believe you can create massive change. We are creating massive change because one, funds are now coming in for projects. Most projects are vended and they are challenging. Of course, the economy, uh, I don't need to tell you, the economy is in recession and so much is happening in hard time. 
this election year, nobody is spending money or something else except the election. So if you don't look at these things, it's be difficult for us because we're within the system that is having issues. So why can't we now have an option that can benefit us? So uh, when I talk to people, I keep emphasizing this fact that technology does not reverse itself. The fact that you analyze data using a uh, tally, uh, it's not going to change. I mean, it happen again. You will never have the opportunity of using tally for data analysis. We've gone far. That time you use paper to collect data, we are not going back there. So these are things that are revolving our practice. So it's also possible that we are making system can revolve and give you money where you can solve this problem. So the business system is actually a real time a monetary tool that we, we get now provide a solution to state and ensure that we have effective uh close monitoring and supportive solution how does it work first we do a design of a soft copy tool for monitor evaluation of key performance indicators so your checklist your questionnaire anything that you think about that you have ever collected data with it's couple for us to program it and give you a soft copy version i mean a digital version so you don't need to print that send to us just send to us the soft copy, that questionnaire on Microsoft Word. We use that and design a digital tool. Now, once we design that digital tool, we host it on Android phones. So they are designed and hoping that can, you can deploy it. All we need to do is I will give you a password of where it's hosted. And you have access directly. We're not there. We just finished doing a work with uh, some group in South Africa. I have never gone to South Africa in the last one year. All they needed to do was to push the data to us. We do the designing. Uh, got the data captured, they will know the data is having access to it while in South Africa, and we're here. The same thing happens while we're here. We can now create the dashboard. So the dashboard can be physical dashboard in the supervisor's office, or it can be virtual dashboard that you have on your Android phone that you monitor. Then of course, the beauty of the, the uh, Kubo Basic, which is an advanced version of Kubo Basic. Those who have told about the Kubo Basic, what is interesting about it is that one, it gives three things. For instance, if you have a system that connects primary care uh, facilities, the monitor evaluation officer that is there, once you connect the person, this advanced basic is different from the other close user group. One, the one thousand that is that is powering the, the 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 system, once it is loaded, the person has capacity to call every member that is having link to that close user group. The second point is that. The person can actually blow that airtime of 1,000, call family member and call friends aloud. So for workers at that level who, for a whole month, they are bought airtime for just 100 naira or 200. Now you are giving them a system that gives them 1,000 naira airtime to talk to family member. It's an incentive that is huge. At the same time, it's built in that 1,000 that will have that agreement signed. is pay as you go airtime. So the person cannot say, I don't have data. No. That 1,000, one, the person is willing to send data to you, boom. It takes maybe 10 megabytes or 20 megabytes or whatever, and send data. Whatever is left, is left in air time, the person can continue to use it. This is the system we build, and this is the system we're using. Now, while we are doing this, we have 12 months supporting uh, uh, technical support from our team. And our team is always there for you 24 seven, and we're there to provide this. So what is the benefits? Of course, we talked about so much accurate data coming in, interconnectivity, unlimited uh, connectivity, flow of operations through automations, and of course, low cost of operation. The easiest thing give us for us to be, uh, opportunity for us to be versatile in the work we do and have up to date accurate information. Now, most people ask, what is the risk involved in this system we are talking about? Yes, like in that project, we start and then yeah, the system grow. So first is changing government policy on the use of virtual system. But I've said technology will not reverse itself. We can't go back to the point where we start using uh, card again. So the government said, that, OK, fine, they, are, they should not use, will not use VTU. But then they will have the bank to, 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 to deal with, because that is the business the bank is doing now. They collect your money in the morning, go buy airtime, come and host it on, uh, on the app, and they keep encouraging you to use the airtime as you, as you buy the best information. The second component is alteration of the telecom value chain incentive. Now, during the, the, the COVID uh, lockdown, boom, they made a lot of money. So funds were available and the incentives were many. Now that the that has come and gone, the incentive may not be as much as we know. So even incentive changes, of course, it will have that change. Now, for most of us, MTA is the commonest. Uh, uh, network that we have. For everybody that has two phones, two lines, it's likely to have an MTA line. So most times it is the operation incentive 
by emptying their affairs to industry, as far as Nigeria is concerned. The global telecom policy change on the use of closed circuit. So it's not every uh, telecom company that is using closed circuit. Why? Because this is voice system. Now, for them, now that Zoom and other platforms, WhatsApp and Co, are making a lot of money, they're investing their infrastructure in data rather than voice. So some will say, okay, fine. If I'm going to do close to Zoom, we are still dealing with voice. So let me not waste my resources on voice. Let me invest in, in, uh, in data. That can happen. Of course, we know that there are some that don't even use close to Zoom. So, but fortunately, Joshua has been able to work with Avihessens. Now, Avihessens is a corporate customer to Nine Mobile, and they are actually using the uh, close to Zoom. We have signed agreement. We build that and stuff. This is what uh, two, three years I would have thought about. How can a public physician having a consultancy and sign an agreement as a corporate customer to a telecom industry? That is something that never was never on my mind uh, as uh, as any go at all. But Joshua was able to negotiate that for us. So that gives us leverage. So anything we are doing with us as AVS, boom, we have direct access. We can help you sort out even issues that have with telecom. Limitation of network coverage by telecom. Yes, so we go to places, all the the network may not be in the, those locations. So each time we are going to a particular place, we now have to uh, study that place and look at the strength of the network there and select the telecom uh, company that has more uh, coverage in that location when we're thinking about uh, that group. Another thing that is a very common challenge that we are facing is the rising cost of Android phone and then dashboard accessories. The reason being that there's dollar fluctuation and this fluctuation is actually affecting the industry today, boom, dollar goes up. Of course, these things are important, so we need dollar effort. So most times, we give you the cost of Android phone or a particular Android phone. One week after you go, that phone has gone, the price has gone up, and that is the challenge we are facing. So uh, if you have one of the customized Android phones, then that is one area that we need to look at closely. So people will ask, where are we going to get the money to, to do this? Again, uh, we think about resource mobilization, but before you think about resource, resource mobilization, you think about resource mapping. So we can do resource mapping around us. You have philanthropy that can support digitalization of our process. Then it's something that we can suggest to them. Of course, once they, they want a proposal, boom, we are here. We have a template that we can get that done. We also have budgetary allocation from states. Budget those who are willing to uh, to try this, we are there to support international donors also. At some point, we want to say, okay, fine, let's automate the systems. Then, of course, one area we also have as a resource is donation of device from manufacturers or distributors. So, there are times we negotiate with, uh, with uh, distributors or manufacturers and say, okay, fine, we're giving this total number of devices as part of our social corporate responsibility and that helps. Then, we also have health insurance. Uh, I, 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 at the meeting in, uh, in Lorraine, there was a presentation for, from data. No, not the meeting in Lorraine, at the primary API uh, summit, they will present from data where they also have a system like that. So what is our action plan? Uh, action plan, as I said before, is subscribe five public positions per state who will be the early adapter. So this is what is our responsibility as members moving forward. As since this is the last day, let's take people to try this. It has no cost to them apart from signing up. Once they sign up, let them use the uh, move their data, use the system, give us feedback. The primary care board can also have their audio telehealth and monitoring system. So any state that is willing, suggest to them we are here. Our team can move in and can be deployed at very short notice. We can also scale up the model through cycle of influence. So we'll talk to our friends and people who are within our cycle or use the respondent driven sample. There are some people here who are who are the platform that have used this system for over a year. And they're here to also share some of their experiences with us. And of course, I keep saying telecom will never reverse itself. We must be position ourselves to take position. There's a lot we do to do in public health, but we have limitations, and that limitation is usually centered around money. So, what is this cycle of influence thing? Yes, yeah, the first five people come in as early adapters, and they can optionally inform other people within their system uh, through the response during sample system. Or they just simply use the system and give us feedback. So here we are, innovators. So uh, creativity is thinking about how to do things better. Innovations is taking action to do that. Having health sense in partnership with uh, digital platform has actually de uh, developed this innovation 
and he's saying that public efficiency should be the early adapters. So based on theory of innovation, I mean, uh, the, uh, the view of innovation theory, uh, we are saying that you should be fast followers so that we can get this done. And of course, who knows, once we're successful, we'll expand it to other doctors. And of course, we can expand it to the entire health sector. Uh, who knows what is possible. So this is the code. The code for registration is here. Uh, the technical team will share it in the, in the chat box. But the project code is coming from 2024-80. And that's what's called project code. So, so before I round up, this is the update that I give every week based on the information that is on the platform. So for here, Plateau State have actually uh, had uh, four people who have signed up, three have activated, one have signed up. So based on the, the five state, and they have just one person left. So the guys from Plateau, you can help us and uh, educate others who will join. Edo has only signed activated one person on the platform directly. Rivers two, Cardinal one, Paisa sign up, but didn't activate Abuja one. A number have signed up for now yet at the one. So in terms of this system, we're having discussion with Adamoa, we're having discussion with Renu, and we're also having with the uh, We've been waiting with these uh, people to see how they can take advantage of it. In conclusion, once social enterprises have a diverse set of uh, income streams, they are a better place to have greater social impact. And that's the truth. So if this has come in, as small as we're thinking, uh, in the last one year, I've never thought about a time and data. I have built friendship with people. There are people that on a monthly basis, I send them a time, they don't even know that it's coming from me. And I've done that consistently. Why? Because I have it. If it was a year or two before, I wouldn't have had that level of luxury to do it. It's on a daily basis, we run our office on zero overhead because we can work from any location. We have time, uh, time and place to figure out this thing. So our team can be anywhere and we are connected. Nobody tells us that, oh, I don't have data. No. So to support us on this project is uh, Stephanie. Stephanie is always behind the scene, doing a lot of work. And of course, our IT crew, uh, who is who also talk about as my PA. Uh, Dan Odia is here. He does quite a lot of things. And I can tell you what is digitalizing is amazing. Uh, we, create, we create musical beats, even for some of the things we do. We have infographic design skills, we design and infographics. So most of the graphic design you, you see us is uh, that and does it. Of course, he developed website. So he's here. If you want him, he's at your service. And of course, he's here. Uh, to support you this time you have issues. So this address, on that note, I want to thank you very much. We can now take questions and comments. Then we'll do a demo and round up. Are we there? Yeah, we're there. Thank you very much. Okay. Dr. So, Kevin. good. So if you have questions and comments, we're here. Ekanem is here, da, uh, Gariba is here, uh, Raymond is here, Alphonsus, my every secretary is here. Uh, Good evening, sir. How now? I'm fine, sir. So we can right take on, comments sir. now. Why is Irua? Irua is great, sir. We thank God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, Gachingli. Yeah, Kenny. Yes, you have comments or you want to say something? Yakubu is also here. Yakubu is one of the our first first faithfuls. So his volume of work. Oh, Professor Isara is on the call now. Prof, that you go talk now. Hello, Prof. How are you? Fine, sir. So you, you have the floor now to talk. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I've listened to you, to you, and uh, I'm happy that what we started four weeks ago, I've come to uh, conclusion. Thank you. I thank all those who have participated. Some have attended the meeting more than once, uh, and I also thank your team for putting this together. Uh, I want to so, so say that. Uh, the list of the states that have signed up for the uh, uh, 
what do you call it now? I don't think it's encouraging, especially we have not gotten five members from any state. And uh, from what you are itemized, I think you are supposed to follow these five members up for, for some time that we end in uh, our conference in, uh, in Port Harcourt in January, which is just a few months away. So I don't know why you are going to do that, but uh, we, we have to find a way to get those five people. But I want to ask, I know that uh, more than five people have signed up in Edo State. Is it that those who signed up after listening to this program, so maybe we can fine tune that one later on. But by and large, I think uh, uh, it's something good. I've, I've shared my testimonies here before that, uh, since December 8th of last year, I activated my wallet shop, personal one. And uh, in March, we also activated two shops for APHPN. And that what, whatever we make from the shop have, uh, is what is going to, is running our secretariat now. So our admin staff will pay her from the interest and all the running around, in, uh, around our liaison office. So I think uh, there's no, it's, it's like uh, a, a trial should we convince you in this, but people are difficult, especially when it comes to committing money into anything because of the high level of uh, so many funny activities that has to do with funds. Mm -hmm. But uh, by and large, I want to thank Abia AdSense, can I, most particularly and members of your staff for the collaboration you have with APHPN I must say that uh, we have benefited from that because uh, Dan helped us to rebrand our uh, website. So I encourage all of us to visit our website, uh, the APHPN.net, and see what is going on there. We regularly we upload information, and the conference is also being advertised there already. So uh, I want to say that on behalf of the ESCO and members of APHPN, we commend uh, AVF Sense for this wonderful collaborations that we entered into uh, since the last conference. And, also, and to say that we continue to encourage our members to listen to what uh, this whole system is all about. And hopefully by uh, the time we're meeting in, in Port Harcourt, we will, you will have a good report to give to us. Thank you very much. Over. Thank, thank you, Prof, for what you are doing for us for the innovation. Uh, congratulations for registering the APHPN consultancy outfits. So we're having commercial mindset. So I'm so excited. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. We have uh, Dr. Ahmed. Dr. Ahmed works with WHO. So yes, you have the floor now. Thank you very much, Dr. Kenny. Um, it's very interesting what your project are doing to. But looking at the states that have signed up, it gives my impression that it's a uh, only corporate bodies that are doing the signing up. I don't know. Can individuals do it too? Secondly, yes. secondly, how does one get the combo pack service? Because it, it seems very, very attractive and a very good catch to get people to join the system. Over. Okay, so thank you very much. So we have these systems, and uh, after this uh, Zoom meeting, I will personally call you so that we can find out the exact need you have. We, whatever we have discussed here, uh, we have capacity in house to deploy. So if corporate bodies wants that done, all they need is to uh, have a concept note, or send a proposal to us, then we can actually uh, get that uh, done for them and deploy accordingly. Uh, once we have that agreed upon, uh, if you want us physically, to get that done fine if you want us to give you the trouble. So with the CUG, essentially, uh, we get SIM card registered and connected. So what uh, our enterprise support, uh, our organization support is the fact that they give us access and they register all the SIM card. We can either register them on a group uh, SIM card or register with individuals need so that security is protected. Uh, that is what we can discuss the details after the call. But that it must it be a new sim card can Thank you me. get can you register the old can you use your old sim card you need to clarify okay. that yes you can you can use your old sim card but what happened with the system is that it must be sim card of the same company 
those were is here. So if you have, for instance, we are doing a CUG for you and it's uh, glue, all the sinkers will be glue. So if anybody has previous glue sinker, they are simply connected. For those who don't have uh, glue, they will now have to will now have to get a glue sinker. Uh, the same thing with nine mobile. So if, for instance, we are doing CUG, uh, closer group for using nine mobile as a platform, it means that we will request members who have uh, existing nine mobile nine mobiles uh, lines, and then we will not get them linked up. Otherwise, we we'll have to buy uh, SIM card specifically uh, from nine mobile connector. Joshua is here. You may want to say a word or two. Joshua. Yes, sir. So the, you heard the question, yes. right? Thank you so much for that question. Now, the first one that you're talking about, individual and corporate organizations. I want to say something. Football in the hands of a culture is millions of dollars. But the same football in your hands and my hands is just an exercise. So it depends on how you look at it. Now, there is some people on this My Wallet Shop that has made over 20 million as individuals on My Wallet Shop. I'm not exaggerating as commissioned for, so for the past two years and a half that my wallet shop has been existing. So to some people, they look at my wallet shop, it's just a place to buy airtime. Let me get my 2%. When I buy a hundred naira, I get 10 naira, 20 naira. But some people look at it as a place they can leverage and take a huge advantage of. The billions and the trillions we are talking about. So depending on how you look at it. So individuals are the ones that are even making more than the corporate organizations. Now you can come to the my wallet shop with a corporate body to take advantage of the vision system. Yes. So you have so much to benefit from the combo, my wallet shop, and the rest of the things. We have a lot of corporate organizations. That having been said, let's go back to the combo basic that you're talking about that is, the, is a catch. Yes. If you have an existing nine mobile, we can still consider you to join the group, but mainly what the system happens is the system comes with new SIM with that combo basic service already embedded in it. So if it is existing SIM, it's easier, but where we cannot do it, I would just want to add one or two to existing, I mean, to the new SIM, fine. We just decide to see how we can activate and integrate that into the system. Remember the Copo Basic, it's a form of a free course within a group. It's not an individual thing. If you have Copo Basic, an individual, you need to talk to somebody to get that free call. And if the other person is not on the same platform with you, then you will not enjoy the SIM, the free call. So it involves two or more team uh, of the people that are making call and making use of that combo basic. So if you have an existing same, fine, we can just decide to see one or two to see how we can also integrate it in the team. But it, it is meant usually for new same that are activated with this service and then delivered to you, going through a process of corporate registration. I hope that okay. helps. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, essentially, if it's new SIM card, uh, the team was here in my office last, last week, if it's new SIM card, everything is configured completely as a package and handed over. If they are existing SIM card, means that we have to review the plan that you had on that SIM card before. So it requires back and forth of sending your number for the office to review and then essentially configure it to be in line with that group. So that so Professor Jemi is, is, is here to talk to us. My is your turn now. Yeah, I, I was just uh, can I, I was just curious. Um, um, what's his name? The speaker before you. No, sir. Uh, I was saying that people are making up to twenty million individuals in one year from the wallet. So how is that possible in a twenty a year? Okay, so okay, so it's here. The, the 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 telecom industry depends on the stake you you make into it. Some people have more than one one shops, and they are trading on more than one shops. That is the idea at individual level. Now, some people have invested for the system to also use to do business. So most people, if you see money now that is flowing uh, in the system, it depends on the package and the platform you have negotiated with the telecom. You as an individual can decide to say, okay, you know what? I'm coming to, to even nine mobile. 
and say, oh, I'm investing so, so amount of money. And now mobile will now say to find well, Colin, this is no way, and this is what we are going to be offering to you on social. So, so. These are these are within the system. But until you are part of the process, you may not fully understand what is happening. And that is the truth. Joshua, you may want to say a word. Yes, certainly you've answered part of it. You know, in every business, is give and take. The more you give, the more you take. So if you come in and you just want to buy a recharge card, 100 naira, 200 naira, of course, this is not a, it's not a money doubling space. So we can say, okay, bring 100 naira, we we'll give you 1,000 naira. So it's, and it's not a networking thing, but your efforts understanding the business, how it works, and then seeing where best you can leverage on, just like an said. Some people came in, they believe in the system, it's okay, let me have one or two shops, if this can accommodate. And good enough is that my wallet shop has an artificial intelligence that automatically it analyzes how much is needed in the system to trade at whatsoever point. So you don't even need to contact somebody. If you bring in money and it's more than what the system needs, the system will bounce you back and tell shops not available. Meaning the sales capacity compared with the funds that is coming, the funds is more. But where the system allows you, even if it's 100 million, it simply means the system has analyzed that the sales capacity of the system can still accommodate 100 million. So when people meet us with cash, we tell them, okay, go to the system and register and try to fund your wallet and see how many wallets the system can take. And some people that were able to understand the system earlier, they took advantage of that. Now, I want to announce this. This may come in the subsequent Zoom that we may do, maybe in June. Some of the bigger organizations, like we have two financial organizations and financial institutions that are already seeking partnership with Mabale Shop. We have some conditions that we need to fulfill. And we have one foreign body that wants to be part of my wallet shop. By the time these guys are coming on board, they are coming not just with services, but they are coming with bonuses and commission that will benefit the, part, the members of the community. For those that are members of the community and are early adopters, they will benefit from this. For those that may come late when maybe some of the opportunities are closed, they will now discover that, well, they came in, but they could not benefit much as others. Not that you will not benefit. Feet. So that's what some people are making that much because they came and saw the space and they quickly occupied those space while others were dragging feet, saying that, ah, this thing, I don't want it to be like MMA, I don't want it to be like, like this, I want it to be like this. But those who understand what is going on in the digital space, that so much is going on, the transactions that are moving on in trillions, they look at it transparently and they say, okay, let me take advantage. That's why I get that scenario of some people look at ball as millions of dollars, while some look at the same ball as an exercise. But those of us, those, those are people that saw my wallet shop as a place to quickly leverage on and make good income. They took advantage of that and the advantage is still up till now. But some that are still looking at it with a skeptical eyes, yes, they are looking at my wallet shop as just a place to buy airtime. So depending on how much you give in. It's a committee that rewards members according to your participation and your financial involvement. All right. Simply so, understand that. Okay. Thank you very much. You are also giving a pro professorial answer. So, so, so that is it. So what happens is the system has artificial intelligence. As we are doing this Zoom, people are buying airtime on that platform. Mega companies are requesting for airtime automatically. So those trading, if in fact, one of uh, just for me, one of these days we will look at the back end charts so that uh, we can have a zoom on uh, and review the back end chart. Everything you see the, 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 the buy and sell process go the same way you see like forest is trading at the back end. Now, what happens is that when the demand at any point in time, if the demand for airtime is less than the funds in circulation, the system will no longer admit new shops. But because new members are coming in and they're equally buying on that platform. So one of the things we encourage is that once you start using my wallet shop, stop buying them from any other source. Stop buying them from the back. You have your, 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 your wallet with you anytime you are anywhere, anytime you can buy it. And so why are you buying it any other source? So you are also a customer to yourself. You buy data, you're a customer to yourself. You do DSTV subscription, you're a customer to yourself. That control the volume. And with that scenario, there's no time that there'll be money in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, this in excess. So the systems that, of course, the artificial intelligence would have detected that.
So, Dr. Leila, you want to say something, man? I, I would love to hear your voice on this platform for records because you actually came up with the digital. Good. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's been a pleasure being part of this um, system. Um, it, 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 when Ekenek came, just like people are asking questions about how you make money from it, I asked the same question because I just couldn't didn't understand it. But the more he spoke about it and the more I heard Joshua talk, he actually came to the house. I was actually convinced that that's actually the way for us to go, to be able to have sustainable businesses and reduce our overall overhead. So for me, it's actually the way for us all to go, especially as public health physicians. Uh, we're not, um, we're really not into the IT world as such, but so much is happening that I'm so happy Kenne has brought this to help us, um, will I say, enter into that um, field. But I just want to, won't waste your time. It's been a pleasure and I look forward to the final evaluation of what we um, in when is it in November? Yes, and so that um, so that we'll see whether we actually convinced uh, most of us to join and how much we can make from it. Do have a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Thank you very much, man. Enjoy your holiday. So, any other comments? Is Yakubo on the call? Yakubo, I see there. Yes, I'm here. I'm uh, 100%. So you, you can start the demo now and then start the, the bonus here. <laughs> well, I think you can. Uh, so probably let me say a few comments. So um, thank you, everybody, for joining. And especially, um, I want to welcome Professor Jemby um, and other senior uh, colleagues uh, on this platform. Um, I will not do the demo. I'll do the giveaway, uh, 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 Dr. Kenny. As you're doing it, once people drop their numbers, uh, we'll do a giveaway, uh, courtesy of uh, being the last day and being having senior uh, individuals on this. But just to also mention a few things. Uh, one, it's that, um, um, to be very honest, I, uh, I'm one of the early adopters. Uh, I'm an, a serial entrepreneur, so I'm an early adopter to this system. Uh, both personally and corporately, and uh, uh, believe you me, uh, you will not regret it. Uh, um, I analyzed um, uh, uh, what the incomes are and how the system works, and um, uh, within three hours of you know having those discussions, um, I remember you came um, at uh, Dr. Kenne's uh, 50th birthday gift, uh, which. Um, that birthday gift came with um, with a lot of uh, uh, goodies, uh, so that uh, uh, propelled me to actually you know join the system, and then of course I've used it corporately to actually run uh, some of my projects here. Um, but just to also you know um, tell people that um, when you have new innovations, uh, it's usually do your own you know background checks and do analysis uh, and take advantage of those. Uh, um, uh, uh, innovations because when you don't, uh, time really doesn't work for anybody. So I I will um, urge you to do uh, to do that. But also to mention that um, apart from you know uh, this finance financing aspect of the projects, uh, the AVSL, the Ave Health Sense uh, team provides one stop shop. Um, I usually like to talk about this because they provide a digital solution for you know. Uh, public health programming. So, uh, especially uh, folks that collect data, uh, do research, uh, I think uh, it's good to link up with uh, Dr. Kenny and his team uh, to get that one-stop shop that, you know, analyze your data and, and also give you added um, advantage, uh, sorry, gives you added value uh, to your project or your proposal that are in development. So, uh, Dr. Kenny, as you're doing uh, the demo, I will um, continue to do the giveaway. Uh, courtesy of today being the final day and um, all the senior people that are here. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, Yakubu. Uh, you know, Yakubu is my friend. So <laughs> if you want to catch us, you catch us together. Uh, I think the, uh, hello, can I, can yes, I? Yes. What is, who, Yakubu is giving away to who? Anybody that sends a number in the platform, just send your number on the network. I think you should just send to everybody. What is he giving away now? Eight times. What is he giving away? Today is the last day, so give everybody. Everybody, yo. 
-hmm. Everybody, so give just, everybody. Today is the last day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't worry. Don't put your 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 number and network. It can be your own number. Make, minimum, can... minimum 1,000 naira for everybody. Today is the last day. No problem. You can put your uncle's number there. You can put anybody's Uncle. number with network, even if it's not your own. We are here to provide that. Joshua is here to provide that. I can assure you that everybody will get uh, stuff. Meanwhile, our national secretary is, uh, is want to say Prof. something. Very good evening, Dr. Kipara. No okay. more than 1,000, but since you have been Joshua, how are you? I'm good, sir. <laughs> okay, I will do. So the national secretary want to talk to us. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. I actually indicated my hand at um, during the time we we're expecting comments. I just wanted to mention that um, I'd like to appreciate um, Avi Headsense and their wow. partner the Vet platform for this innovation. And um, like somebody had mentioned earlier, it's something new and naturally we might not have so many persons um, embracing the platform at this initial phase. But I appreciate the fact that Avi Headsense has been able to go through with the four weeks training, which is coming to an end today. And I think in that spirit, if we keep pushing, We'll get more of our persons committed. Um, by the time we arrive at Port Harcourt in 2023, and then we have opportunity of interacting again with more persons, I'm sure with time, we are going to have more public health physicians um, embracing this platform and um, getting to use the benefits that the platform offers. So it's just to appreciate Avi Headsense and their partners for this wonderful work. Thank you and over. Thank you very much, National Secretary, Dr. Alphonse. Let me tell you what my office did. Uh, so we, in preparation for the conference next year, we had a, a project and then got some income. So we now created a shop called Ave Hessens Compact, Ave Compact. So it's actually dedicated for the conference in the rivers. Now the question that we ask ourselves, how can we get to that conference at no cost to the office? So we carried one million and created a shop, and that shop trades every week. So by December, it would be 40, 40 weeks. So we'd have had 10,000 times 40 weeks. Those, that fund will fund my flat ticket, uh, our technical support team flat ticket, and our accommodation. At the end of the conference, the system has actually worked to finance our conference participation. That is the beauty of what we have built. I would have been struggling to say I'll be at that conference, but as I talked to them, there's no struggles. So it's this knowledge for. It depends on what you use creativity for. It depends on what you do. And we're here. If we have issues around this, I keep telling people, if the system is going to have any issues, I will know it at least one month ahead. Now, people have asked different questions. The funds are not in anybody's hands. The cash that comes in is in total way. If the system have issues, the funds are in floater with the Akura is on the system, the system can now download that. What you have a shop is not shop, it's a time, and that a time is actually is, uh, is into with telemaster somewhere else. So at any point in time, what you see, the portal you see is a simple portal. That is why it's not heavy, it's not it's just there to make sure that everybody's resources are accounted for by the portal. So, Yakubu, let me know if you have started giving the giveaway. Joshua, there are numbers here. So, numbers are in the chat box. Once you do any of them, let me know so that we don't duplicate. Is that at this number? Is it supposed to be your own? Can I please just send credit to any number you see? You don't need to ask plenty questions. Okay, sir. <laughs> don't ask plenty questions. Just okay. send. Uh -huh. So uh, any other question, the, 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 we've done this demo before, so I'm just go, going online now. Uh, where is just my... note, on the more serious note, eh? can yes. I really answer the question? Which question? The five people that you are piloting per state, how do you get those five people? What of the old people that are already embracing the thing? I come, it's only one person in Abuja. Okay, when so- you have people like- uh, Beautiful, so this, this, is what, this is what we're talking about. Now, what we are saying is that VG, the deployment of VG within six months, 
capture those who are coming in newly. I know That's you. What I'm saying okay. So, so we have to new people in some states. Yes, but the, the, the new people that came into that, so that's what will happen. At the evaluation, I will ask, they, there will be a questionnaire. So for instance, if you are filling the evaluation form, the question will ask is that, are you on video system? The answer is yes or no. Or we may ask the question, okay, fine. Have you used this platform before? You say yes. So, so for you in particular, you can't say that you sign up during the VG system. You sign up before VG was uh, conceptualized. So you are still using my wallet shop. We are not part of the project. So these numbers we are talking about are numbers that are coming directly with the project. Now, if uh, someone, uh, for instance, uh, Dr. Afonso has gone to sign someone in Zirua, yes, he has signed someone in the platform, but it's not reflected directly into the VG systems. So at the point of evaluation, all those will be captured. But we are cap what we are, the update we are giving now is that those who are directly uh, registered and captured on the Business system how do you project. get people you are in Abuja? How do you get people to sign up into the visit system from various states? That's what I'm asking you now. Also, so for me in various states, one now that we are finished with the value with the 500 uh, with the education and the, uh, the training, the next one we could be committed to getting in touch with individual states. Again, you know that uh, I'm the APHPN license, so I should be able to get data from those states and do one on one calls. And they arrange uh, Zoom meetings. I've talked to people. The Cardinal team have uh, reached out to me several times that they will even arrange with. Uh, it's okay. Yes. Yeah, so that is what we are going to do. It. So there will be one on one call. It's all right. It's part of the project. I'm going to do that for the next uh, uh, two months in addition to what we have done. Okay. Good. It's all right. No, I was just worried about how you get the people. So it's all right. No, we'll do that. Team will do that. Yakub, are you sending in okay. so that we know? Okay. Joshua? Yeah, I've started. So can Prof confirm? Um, I think I sent to him. Um, I've sent my own, thank 500 you. Naira. Which 500 Naira. 500 Naira. Better wake up. 500 Naira. Is that what I'm confirming? <laughs> better, better tell them what you have got to know. Hmm. Okay. I've sent my own, yeah, Kubu, thank you. All right, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, I'm done my own. Yeah.